Welcome back to The Sims, folks. Uh, changed a few settings since the last video. Hopefully it'll speed things up just a bit so it's not all stop, start, stop, start, slow motion bullcrap. And um, also, Bella Goth died at the end of the last video. Uh, I had to exit out of the Plumbot creator to go change the settings. I wanted to do all that off screen. And apparently, Kurt Sutton is no longer the town Lestat. Rest in peace. Um. There is a puzzle error trap somewhere too. Anyways, we're going to make a plum bot now for Paige. Um, this is going to be JNKT Mark 1. We won't use one. We'll use an I and be fancy about it. It'd be a male. <laughs> Even though I don't know why you're. Pl Wait, it'll be a male. I don't know my my gender symbols apparently. Donald There we go, that sounds about right. So what is this model going to look like? It needs to be kind of scary, somewhat creepy. I don't even know if it's if that's possible. Very cyborgish. Unlike the other human ones that we've had everywhere else. I want something that actually looks like a robot and not like a human and robot form. Fortunately, there's honestly not a whole lot of options for that, is there? Black and gunmetal will most likely be the colors of the day. Eh, we'll stick with that body, try that out. What about spooky creepy arms? <laughs> Not a big fan of that. That's kind of spooky. Bony, nasty appendages. Razor sharp. Not really razor sharp, but whatever. You get the point. I don't know if I want it to have legs or not. Not a big fan of legs. one reason or another. I do like floating robots. I guess that'll work. Hmm. Okay. There's not a whole lot of options we can change. I'm not gonna go in there and mess with all the colors either. What do these torsos look like? Big and bulky. This is kind of dainty. Eh. It's a little bit cyborgish. Okay, that's not very human looking at all. I like it so far. And this is going to be the plum bot that hopefully, provided I can keep it upgraded, will be following Paige around throughout her life here. I don't think I can specifically assign it to her. Like, you know, Paige is your number one concern. Do her homework, clean her room. And, let's see, can I change the color of the glow? I like the blue look of the eye up there. So, try to match it a little bit. Okay. Close enough. It's more like purplish, lavender, I think, but it'll do. And, um, yeah, that'll do. The JNKT Mark I model has now been completed. Or will soon be completed. <sighs> Honestly, the last thing I really need is more of these things floating around the house, but whatever. Let's see. Wants to scan me, wants to equip an, a trait chip. I guess we can go ahead and do that. Durandal, what do you want to do? You want to flirt with a robot. You know what? You can flirt with a robot if you want, I guess. And Sergei has improved his bot building skill to 6. He 
can now design more advanced trait chips. He now holds the plum bots to a higher standard and is more likely to produce higher quality bots when creating or upgrading them. Okay. Could have swore I told her that she could flirt with the plum bot, so. Where did she go? In fact, what's happening? Why is everything tinted pink? I really hope that's just because the sun is setting and not because I broke something. I'll let the game load everything in here. Becoming a skilled martial artist is a rewarding journey. Nope, don't want to learn more. Okay, so you can improve your inventing skill. Don't know why you no longer want to flirt with the robot. But, okay. Are you really tired already? I find that hard to believe. You know what? Drink a banana, soy, latte, mocha, choca. Loka thing. Now, let's go ahead and um, adjust the trait chips on this thing. You're not gonna, well, maybe I'll make you a nanny bot too. I don't know what we're gonna install just yet. I'm not entirely sure what trait chips I have in my pocket. If we don't have any, then I might just set Sergi to creating a bunch of nanites for the time being so that we can eventually give this model a little bit of a personality. Yes, Plumbot, I am your creator and your master. You will guard and teach Paige throughout the years. You will protect this house, not necessarily keep it clean. That's what the other cyborg is for. Can cyborgs mate, I wonder? Can they, like, date each other? And... He had a forced shutdown. That's lovely. Okay, so Sergi has no trait chips in his inventory. That's great. You go ahead and... Um, can you design any new nanites? Or have you already maxed out your nanite stuff? So where... Where did Ed shut down at? You shut down right there, you piece of junk. Um, go ahead and tune up if you can. Get this thing working again. Paige, you're doing fine. Durandal is having a midlife crisis. Yes. I need to find out how to get her to work out. Give you a bottle. Play with, snuggle with, and at some point, I do need to go check my mail too. There should be some surprises waiting in here for me. Oh, pay my bills before the repo man comes, even though I will get a warning that pops up that says, would you like to instantly pay all your bills? We've discovered how to build the triple nanite. Can you go recharge after this? That'd be incredibly useful if you could. I don't know if I if I trust having plumb bots that can upgrade each other. Rebel for mm hmm Feels like something bad could come from that. Now you're not gonna have any abilities at all except to siphon power. Until we get you some trait chips installed. Kinda makes me sad. Just go ahead and recharge in that one. Even though he's got a full battery power. I don't want him running around siphoning power from things just because he can doesn't have any other interactions that he can do. Breaking all my stuff. Tomorrow Durandal is gonna go get a makeover. If I absolutely have to, I'll buy a weight bench and put it in here, even though I could sell some stuff. Nah, that's going to be Paige's room at some point. And our other kid, if we have one. When we have one. We've discovered how to build the Caustic Nanite. Okay, so good. I was honestly really worried that I had maxed out my Nanite abilities. And I wasn't sure if getting a new level would unlock more of them or not. 
That's right, who's the cute little baby who's gonna change the world? It's Paige. Hopefully. Leisure days are approaching in a couple days, so plan out how you want to spend your free day or don't. Well, every day for this family. Aw, her midlife crisis is over. She only completed two wishes. I thought that she had more time, honestly. And Richie Crawford and Durandal are no longer friends. Hmm. Well, I can still give her these... these wishes. She wants to become friends with Richie. Probably not gonna happen. You might notice I don't set aside a whole lot of time for friendships. Because I micromanage everything. What are you crying about? Are you smart enough to change the diaper on your own, Paid Durandal? Probably not. Does she need anything else? Because we're all going to go to bed soon. Paige in the crib. She can't sleep because she has had coffee recently. So... Go ahead and... Go back to inventing until basically you pass out. You can now build a condenser nanite. Learning how to make nanites is a whole lot more efficient than traveling to the future and running around all over the place, hoping that you can actually stumble across what you need. Let's just scan the other cyborg. Okay. So let's see what, what mail we got. Hopefully I got my gifts in here. I was meaning to get those last video, but with all the game locking up and skipping and everything, I kind of lost track. Even completing the simplest things became an incredible chore. Try to pay the bills. We got more than enough money to do so. And let's see, the mail is overflowing. We reach in. Flyers and junk mail fly everywhere. There's a letter for Sergi from Consuela Lopez Goth. It says, I've been too shy to say it in person. No, I don't care about you. I'm married. We've received a new special toy in the mail. Ooh, this is Paige's gift. Let's see. It's, a, it's an imaginary friend. When your sims have a child, sometimes their newborn will receive a special toy in the mail. When the child ages to a toddler, they can play, sing, and name their toy. All of these will improve their relationship with their special friend. As the sim begins to grow, their special friend can grow with them. It can turn into a life-sized imaginary friend. And do you wish other sims could interact with the imaginary friend? They can be turned real through opportunities, spoilers and all that. The game doesn't want you to figure anything out on your own, of course. Bastards. Randall, you can probably crash now, can't you? Go ahead and go to sleep. Your coffee buzz is over with. Sleep until rested. I wonder why she has such little energy. She get, I mean, her energy bar wasn't that much lower than Sergei's. Maybe inventing just takes all, all of her available energy reserves or something. I don't rightly know. And I'm about tired of hearing that sprite cry. You're a damn dirty hologram. Just set on your pedestal. Download information from the internet. That's why I put you right next to it. Can't you siphon something from it? Do you constantly need attention? I will put you back on that alien spaceship where you belong and you can sit there and tell somebody else who cares about exploring comes to find you. Which will be no one. I assure you, you'll sit there for another hundred years or however long you were trapped there. Forced shutdown. Utterly depleted batteries. Weren't you moving around earlier? Why are you still in forced shutdown mode? We can now build a neutron nanite. I wonder if junk gets sabotaged. Equip 
a mood adjuster trait chip. I wonder if Junket to sabotage it. That's what that is, by the way. For those of you who can't tell, Junket to Mark 1. Stuck Aging, Arlene Morton, Adrian Novak, Celia Stanford. Don't know who any of these people are. They're probably all paparazzi. Francisco Swanson from the future. Well, keep breaking it. I don't even know what task I have that I'm supposed to be doing. Adventure, return to Egypt. I'm really tired of seeing that. See, I'm not going back to the back to Egypt. I was going to say back to the future, but Randall, why why aren't you going to bed? You stuck pathing or something? Maybe you sleep on this side? I don't know. It shouldn't matter. Just climb in bed. Choose your side and go for it. Also. What are you doing? Yeah, you're going to pass out there. You ridiculous. We can build a quantum nanite. Relax here. She's stuck on something. She's got her leg stuck in the fence, I'm guessing. I don't I don't rightly know. Saying what is prohibiting you from going to sleep? I want you to get up there before you become as cranky as I am. For some reason you can't. Okay, before you go to bed, let's take care of... Mm, your hunger. I'm not even going to touch the spaghetti. I know better than that. Do that. Let the game catch up. Go ahead and shower. Don't know why it's being all slow now. I adjusted even more of the script settings too, so that storyline events take place even less often. And then you go to bed and sleep until fully rested. We can build a lepton nanite. So there are probably over a dozen types of nanites that we can invent now. Really? Are you trapped outside or something? What the hell is wrong with you? Run there. It appears that she's feeling a little under the weather. Okay, so she's sick. She's out of sorts. She's got an infection from something. No idea what. What is wrong with the door? That door's open. Go home, Durandal. Why does the... What is going on? Can you not go... She's going to fall asleep outside. And then it's going to be completely over with. She's just going to have to sleep on the grass or something. As Sergei has a nice smell. He's going to have a nice warm shower. What the fuck? If I have to use the mod to reset her, I will. But see, I think that this house also does have pathing problems. Because if you remember, I had like a bunch of people stuck outside. Okay. Time to break the fourth wall. Let's go ahead, master controller. If I can remember how to do this. Find it in here. Reset sim. Return to a safe location. Yes. Question is, what is considered a safe location? Is she going to be in someone else's house, an ex-boyfriend's house or something? Go to bed. Sleep all day. For all I care. 
Sergi can move around just fine. Why can't you? There we go. I think that that door is busted. And it's causing some type of pathing problems out there. Maybe she got interrupted in the middle of an action of opening the door or something. She wants to join the military career. Too bad. You're an inventor. We are scientists in this house. And we will do sciencey things. That's just the way it is. Okay, at least she's finally able to go to bed. The Borgs are interacting. <laughs> Some do their thing. Paige is gonna be throwing a tantrum soon. Let's give all of these nanites to Sergi so that he can go ahead and start creating some trade chips tomorrow. Polar uncommon. Really? You gotta walk around butt naked? You can't even put some boxers on or boxer briefs, anything? Whatever. Tunneling and condenser. One of the things I probably need to do at some point too is clean up their inventory. Xergi has all of this stuff. Tons of, tons of gems that I need to grind down into dust at some point. They do have various uses. Let's see. You want to hug your sweetheart? I might be able to allow you to do that. Provided you all behave. And start doing as I say, damn it. So we got photo strip, a bunch of baby books. Once Paige is a little bit older, we'll start reading some of those books to her. That'll help improve her skills. We've got the jet pack. But I'm probably going to end up giving back to Sergi at some point. Bunch of Egyptian artifacts, a ton of doodads that she's created. Jimmy Sprocket and the Chalice of Lichens. Lichens? Lichens? Who knows? Someone out there does. Uh, another five minutes of exhilarating sleep. That's how this video is going to end. Paige, you need to hurry up and grow up. But we do need to be careful that we give her a good childhood. She's eccentric. Have a higher chance of discovering new inventions. Be faster at making discovered inventions. Higher chance of making improved widgets. And she's friendly. She's a good listener even when others repeat themselves. Good traits for a baby to have. Dogs, let me guess, you all need social interaction probably. No. If you need to just if you need to destroy something, then go destroy it. And a sim fest is starting at Showtime Park that we're not gonna go partake in. Wait a second. Why are you getting up already? You went to bed after Sergi, and you were even more exhausted than him. You've barely been asleep for any time at all. Let's see, she wants to eat some cereal. No, don't eat cereal. Gonna micromanage you even more. How did you rest so quick? Are you just that comfortable when sleeping next to your lover? Is that what it is? Okay, she can go eat, and then after that, she needs to take care of Paige. Paige is going to need probably everything by the time she wakes up. She'll need food, her bladder is going to go, she needs some social interaction. Okay, first, we'll snuggle and play with. Play with some more, get all this queued up, 
get the bottle, and then hopefully you allow her to actually drink the bottle before you change the diaper. More unroundable sims. Don't know why the game has to tell me that. It should just take care of them automatically. I've got that set up. <laughs> wow, you're crying. I have a feeling I'm missing something about these sprites too. Behold, the terror of pre-adolescence. Ron Dingbat has arisen as a truly unruly brat. Lillian Gilmore got a new job. And Angela, let me guess, Angela Pleasant Slaxer is now a toddler sports coach. Congratulations. Unfortunately, Eddie Bang Bang is no longer able to satisfy the requirements of his position as the town dracool and has gracefully bowed out. Freddy Krueger is unusually hungry. Good lord. Somebody was attacked. The cat was out and about doing stuff. Let's see. Do you see? This is why Nina Caliente should be locked up, moaned Bruce Matson after Nina attempted to repair Bruce's UV by UA. I kept telling her it wasn't broken, and she broke it even more. The whole day planned out for her. Yes, I know. You're hungry. You shouldn't be too lonely. I mean, it hasn't been that long. About 12 hours, maybe? <laughs> 12 hours since somebody gave the baby any attention. Suck it up, baby. It's not been that long. The dogs go days without getting any interaction from humans. Bruce Matson still unroutable. Aw, Ed209, you're finally doing your job. The baby only had to cry for a few hours. Get the bottle, okay, so don't give a bottle. You don't want to make Paige unhealthy. However, now that's going to mess up all of her actions. God damn it. Ed, just play hot potato with Paige, okay? Throw Paige over to her mama. She totally won't drop her. I assure you. That's right. Set the baby on the floor. And walk away. Put your hands in the air. Cyborg. Ed, go ahead and bathe Chica. And then bathe Clyde. That should be some social interaction for them, if I'm not mistaken. Randall, I could have you upgrade some stuff, right? You close the dryer. That's for the maid to do. Okay, well, once all your stuff's taken care of... Go ahead and go back to inventing. Max that out. Bruce, where are you hiding at? Are you underneath the house? Like normal? Because for some reason that's where almost all of the unroutable sims end up, like some type of wicked witch. Okay. Let's fix this real quick. I'm tired of getting these messages pop up. Game. So let's fix it real quick. Not load in the entire house and everything. Or it can do that to me. Where I can't even see him. Alienira's experiment has been successful. Whatever. Did I just. Why? 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 Wait, why? Wait, why? Why did I just switch switch families? That is <laughs> that is not at all what I wanted to do. Um game. 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 Sims, listen. I I don't give a fuck about this other family. Oh, what what is this going to do? Um 
Well, I have no idea exactly how to fix this. Edit town. This is ridiculous. Just continue. Don't even bother saving it. Anyways, I'm going to end the video here. Whenever we come back, I had damn well better be in control of this family. Switch to this household. Yes, I want to change. I'd, yes. <sighs> I had no idea that, that probably removed all of my wishes and everything, all of my lifelong, if I lost all of my lifetime happiness for Sergi and Durandal, I'm going to be incredibly mad. Okay, good. Because I did not know you could switch families just by clicking on another, on one of the Sims. Ed has joined the culinary career. Really? Really, game? Ed? You want to design a trade you? Did I tell you that you could have a job? Because I'm pretty sure I didn't. Anyways, I'm going to end the video here. Visit Legacy Park. My sim bots are obviously taking on another layer of sentience that I didn't know they could possess. And whenever we return, I don't know what we're going to be doing. Probably more inventing and creating and most likely throwing a birthday party for Paige, who will be leveling up most likely tomorrow.